So let's talk about the Tale of Ascension hidden rooms or treasure rooms, whatever you want to call it. So treasure rooms are these little uh, towers that you can see popping out of the Tale of Ascension uh, main tower. There are a total of 32 of them and it doesn't matter wh which uh, mode you use, whether normal or hard, by the way, uh, shout out Khaleesi, do this, right? Uh, doesn't matter which mode you're using, there will always be 32 of these uh, special rooms. Not special rooms, again, they're so confusing with the bottom ones. Uh, treasure rooms, and each rotation they will be on a different level. However, the conditions for them are actually the same for every rotation. I've checked it out for three rotations already, so I've checked this one, I've checked the previous one, and I've checked the one from the post that I found earlier uh, today. The post was from around four months ago, and it seems like the conditions do match uh, the ones that I have as well. So doesn't matter which server you are playing, uh, doesn't matter which floor the little tower is at, uh, as long as you're going in the order of uh, these special rooms, uh, the conditions will be the same. So uh, first of all, shout out to this person who posted the full unlock conditions of uh, all of the uh, hidden rooms or whatever you want to call them. So I made a sheet and uh, in this sheet, I basically listed all of the conditions. There are four main conditions and those conditions change ever so slightly based on the floor difficulty. So for uh, the first floors, it will be the easiest ones, stuff like uh, clearing uh, the room with uh, you know, somebody having 50% or more HP and they get higher. As you can see, the same task is now 98% or more HP. And there are four different ones. So uh, you can see four different tasks. So one of them is to do a single hit that does 10,000 damage or more. This is probably one of the easiest tasks because if you have any unit built on damage and that unit has a decent multiplier, the 10,000 damage, 10, damage hit will be super easy to obtain. Then uh, there is the clear after inflicting crit damage a certain amount of times. It ranges from 15 to 300. This one is definitely by far the hardest and the one I actually work for like 20 to 30 minutes on perfecting and hours of testing of which unit is the best for it but i finally found a good combination for it and uh, the other two ones are pretty simple it's just a trial of error on making them work so this one will be pretty easy uh, you basically just have to stay at full hp with your summoner and i'll explain the best ways on how to do all of these uh, missions yourself and the other one is, of course, staying below a certain amount of HP. So let's start with the easiest ones. First of all, clear after inflicting damage, after inflicting a certain amount of damage in a single hit. So 10,000 damage, uh, this is super easy to achieve. As you can see, I tested out my Galleon. He is quite literally on five wounds. He only has 115 crit damage, 3,000 attack. And uh, with this skill, so this is per hit, meaning that uh, in one hit, uh, that attack had a 450% multiplier. He already deals uh, around 11k damage with a hit. No attack buffs, no defense base, anything like that. So uh, if you want to make sure that the attack lands, uh, pick a skill that has a high multiplier, preferably with a single hit, something like this. So this is a single attack, it will hit for 830, it will deal extra damage based on the burn, but really you won't be struggling with this. If you're really struggling, get a defense break, get an attack buff, any other effect that will help you do damage, and you'll be able to get that hit off easily. Then for the other two, uh, so first of all, clearing with 98% or more HP. I'm gonna use the 98% because the lower ones are even lower HP and it will be just easier if you go lower. So we're gonna take the hardest uh, example of each uh, condition. So for 98, uh, really all you need to do is use a healer to make sure that you are always full HP. Another option that you can use is use a shielder or an invincibility unit to 
not instead of not healing, I'm not taking damage in the first place. So if you have a Bastet, that's a very good option because uh, as you can see, her shield is a 14 seconds long and on 4 mana cost, you are able to use this shield every 12 seconds, meaning that if uh, you use Bastet as a soul link unit and you uh, have her doing only skill 2 when possible, you will actually be able to keep that shield permanently and not take any damage as long as the shield is able to absorb all of it. So build her on high HP, use her uh, with the soul link on that second skill and you'll be able to clear uh, the summoner HP above certain threshold conditions pretty easily. Now for the uh, below certain amount of HP, I think yeah, the maximum one is 10% or less. Uh, the team I've used is somewhat similar to when keeping it at, uh, what do you say, above a certain amount of HP. So, uh, the last stage for that specific condition was stage 184, as you can see, clear with 10% summoner HP or less. So, what you're gonna want to do for these is, first of all, go into the stage without any monsters. And as you can see, basically my plan right now is to drop myself down to 10% HP, make sure to not use any abilities that uh, allow you to heal. So for example, if you are a cleave, make sure to not use the fire element, the wind element, or the dark element. Make sure to use either water or a light ones because uh, the self-healing ones will put you above 10% HP when you don't want to, and that will be very annoying to drop again. So basically, uh, your goal now is to first drop to 10% HP, and after that, your goal is to basically prevent that HP from going above or uh, down to zero after it. And now that my HP dropped below 10%, I switch on a unit that allows me to survive. So in my case, I chose Bastet because she is able to shield me up and keep that shield up permanently and that is an awesome option for me in my opinion i also have the Sadion to help me deal with the stage itself because uh, the units this is hard mode so the units do deal a little bit of damage especially on floor 184 and as you can see i'm sitting at eight percent hp i was able to maintain that hp because of the shield and i was able to clear the stage pretty easily other options are, of course, uh, something like shield. Uh, for shield, you can use Bastet. That's probably the easiest one, as a lot of people have it. You can use a Wusa. You can use any other abilities that uh, keep your shield in the same place, something like invincibility. And now for the hardest condition by far, uh, clearing the stage after inflicting crit damage a certain amount of time. So the first few will definitely be pretty easy. I would say the... Uh, it's like 100 times, 50 times, those are pretty easy. These ones are when it starts to get a bit more difficult, but in a lot of cases, if you have a team built around it, you will be able to do it on auto. However, stuff like clearing it with doing the damage 300 times will be a little bit difficult. So uh, here's uh, the best team that I have discovered. First of all, you wanna go back to normal stage. The reason for that is hard mode stages have uh, three minutes to clear the stage whereas normal mode actually has five minutes so you are, have more room to deal that amount of crit damage and the team that i've used for this is you're gonna want two units first of all you want a unit that has a lot of multi hits and second of all you want a healer so that unit uh, doesn't die so for the healer I have picked Shushu, uh, I had her wound up, but you can actually run her unruined as long as uh, she is able to keep up enough HP for that unit, you will be okay. I can pop her some runes, so I'll pop her my main energy set. Now for units that do a lot of good damage, so ideally you want to be picking multi-hitters and you want multi-hitters that do not increase your damage, so for example you do not want a units that can do defense break or something like that, that can do attack buff to themselves, something like that. Uh, you want AoE abilities and you want AoE abilities that hit multiple times on as low mana cost as possible. And the best 
uh, unit that I have found for this that is also free to be plenty is the where is it where is it let me find the water salamander so uh, this unit uh, this ability as you can see it costs three mana this ability is an AoE and it hits all units in that range three times so in most cases uh, you're able to hit like three to five enemies that will mean each ability you use will do 9 to 15 critical hits per ability use and on normal mode that is more than enough what you need to do is to build this unit on as much critical as possible but keeping the damage super low so this is the set i have 96% uh, crit rate triple blade runes are powered up but if i power this up a bit it would increase up to 100% as you can see and with this uh, you are able to use this unit to do a lot of damage very easily so first of all uh, I do recommend going in without power bonus as that will allow you to do more damage but even if your unit does not deal too much damage you will be okay in most cases and once you enter the stage here is what you pretty much want to be doing so turn off auto mode and you want to be not hitting the mobs with your summoner or with your uh, healer so basically circle around them and uh, with your summoner you start going through all of the mobs that way the mobs will group up if they were split up a bit and your uh, salamander or serpent or whatever it's called i don't know uh, will be able to use that ability and hit multiple times so already i've hit all of the enemies like well 40 times or so as you can see each orange uh, number that pops up is a critical hit that you have dealt and by doing this you simply just circle around the enemies whenever you need to heal whenever you see that your serpent is uh, getting close to dying you can actually start basing attacking uh, your healer will proc one of the healing abilities whichever it uses it will usually heal your serpent because that unit will be the lowest hp once you see that the units are close to dying i recommend just killing them off and moving on to the next wave so the next wave in this case will have five mobs and uh, the last wave will actually have uh, six mobs so you get more actual hits per uh, ability use and by just doing this you circle around you use the ability and if you do this for a few minutes you will be able to easily uh, pass the stage just make sure to finish the stage when there's like half a minute or so left because uh the stage is actually sometimes pretty hard to finish and make sure to leave enough time as there have been scenarios where i have done the condition but i was like 10 seconds short from actually finishing the stage and it did not unfortunately count for me so as you can see we click it finish this up use a few abilities while at it each basic attack will of course also do critical hits and uh, you will be able to pass that uh, condition pretty easily and as you can see i just unlocked this one right now i don't know why numbers are bugged but yeah it clears after inflicting crit damage at least certain number of times these are the exact values i tested them out in two different rotations they are the exact same for each of them so really no surprises there uh, you can see which hidden room you are playing by just clicking on it it will say right here so there are 32 in total this is the 31 and uh, the top one is 32 so you can either go from the top from the bottom and just keep track of the condition if it wasn't unlocked or if you're a bit lost somewhere in the middle you can just uh, check the condition uh, like this one or one of them that has numbers if possible see uh, clear with 90 percent or more hp so that means this is room 36 and if the next one is locked you know that the 27th one will require you to inflict the damage 250 times so yeah that's just sort of a quick not really quick guide on how to unlock these hidden rooms and i'll see you in the next one